main reason why we live together is in order to preserve, promote and sustain our language and cultural heritage as well as to preserve our identity. My name is Prema Tawang Shastri. Currently, I am the chairman of the board of directors of Tibetan Association of Boston. I came to Boston actually in 1992 as a Fulbright scholar, and I studied at Harvard for two years, then returned back to India. And then after that, uh, in 1998, uh, I came to Boston during the family reunification process. My wife was here, so me and uh, my two kids, we came to Boston uh, because mainly because of that. I was very fortunate to come in the lottery of the 1,000 Tibetans that was resettled in the United States, and I happened to be uh, one of the 50 Tibetans that were allocated to uh, reside in Boston, so that's how I landed here. <laughs> <laughs> Originally, uh, back in 1992, there were only five Tibetan families living here uh, who had come to the United States as early as 1965. And when we, uh, the Tibetans from the Tibetan project started uh, coming in, then slowly uh, we expanded, starting from 50 people initially. We are now close to 800 Tibetans uh, settled in Greater Boston area. My name is uh, Champa Chudan Gabansang. I live here in um, um, Boston, Massachusetts, and I've lived here for since I was eight years old. Before the Tibetans um, immigrated here, we were the only Tibetan family. So, you know, I basically always wanted um, Tibetans around me. I always wondered, who am I? You know, so I think I'm right now, I can say I'm very, very happy that we have a community, um, Tibetan community here. Um, my name is Maya Walter. Um, I was born in Tibet and adopted at the age of four from Nepal and came to America in 1994. I think that having a Tibetan community in Boston makes a huge difference. Um, if I didn't have a Tibetan community growing up, I don't think I would feel as Tibetan as I do now. Um, I did grow up with a white family, so having that Tibetan community made me feel like I was still part of a Tibetan community. Um, I do know now that it's a lot bigger than it was before, and you know, there's always these events, weddings and things like that, that really help gather people together, and um, school and dance and all that really is an important way of keeping our culture. <laughs> Nabjuma my name is Dickie Palmo, and uh, we have a small uh, restaurant, family restaurant here in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. It's been almost, uh, I've been here in Boston for I think 25 years now. When I came here, there was only 12 Tibetans here and uh, somehow um, since childhood, 
I had, uh, I have to carry the whole Tibet in my back. It feels like it, you know. So even if I do small thing, you know, bad thing or good thing, I have to think first, you know, I'm Tibetan. If I do something bad, then the whole Tibetan's name gonna be, you know, uh, it's gonna be bad. So it's kind of like a, I have to choose the right thing because, you know, I am a Tibetan. Uh, I've been attending Sunday school for about four years and what I do in Sunday school is I write in, in Tibetan, I read in Tibetan, I speak in Tibetan and I get to know other Tibetan people and I eat Tibetan food. <laughs> When I come go to Tibetan school, I look forward to what we're gonna learn. Always what we're gonna do in class, how we're gonna do it, what we're gonna be like learning and all that. Right now, for about a year, I've been working with the Tibetan school uh, that we meet, we, we meet on Sundays. And we already have about 80, almost 90 kids now. And just in my year, in a year or so, we've moved already once and we're looking again to move. And just having a place that we can really um, call it our own and we have we can do so much not just you know the school not just through educating the children but we can do so many things with the community and um, I think also it'd be great for the um, non-Tibetans outside the, uh, the community outside to um, have a center to go to and see what the Tibetan culture is like um, so I think it's really crucial we really really um, need it desperately I think the Tibetan kids our age, we're all very close together. We hang out like outside of Tibetan school and Tibetan parties and Tibetan stuff. And it definitely would be because of Tibetan class. We all like met each other there. Right, I think that um, the community is what brings us together. We, the reason we spend so much time um, outside of classes and parties is because of the bond we created uh, at those events. My first name is Tamding and last name is Seppel. Was born in Nepal, but the blood is from Tibet. Tibetans are my brothers and Tibetans are my sisters. My name is Lindsay Samuel Balde. Uh, I'm 17 years old and I go to Cambridge in Latin. I feel that being Tibetan is mostly one, the language, um, two, culture, and three, religion. Like, I mean, you don't have to be Buddhist, but that's like mostly what our culture really like kind of like built upon. Um, I'm a senior this year, so can't wait for college. So. My name is Karma Soldier. I'm 24 years old. My family came from Nepal. Uh, I came to Boston at age eight. Uh, I got out the military, U.S. Army, 2012. I've been studying uh, criminal justice. Uh, hopefully I can finish uh, my degree soon. Um, I am trying to get into the law enforcement. My name is uh, Tenzin Choki, and uh, I'm a student here at Tufts. I'm a sophomore. I live in Somerville, Massachusetts. Going to Sunday school in um, the Tibetan um, community here in Boston has meant a lot to me. Um, when I was in high school, I went to Sunday school every Sunday and um, meeting friends there, meeting older people who guided me through like the college application process or like what it means to be a Tibetan living here in America. That has helped me um, develop and shape who I am. <laughs>
cultural preservation is of utmost importance, and that is the main reason why, in the bigger picture, we would need a cultural center where we, we could impart the uh, education that we've learned from our parents to our generation and pass it on to our sons and more generation to come. That kind of compassionate and tolerant culture not only belongs to the Tibetans, but it belongs to the world uh, at large. And that was the main reason why we need a cultural center. It would not only cater to the needs of the Tibetan people, but it would also cater to the needs, uh, cultural, social, and intellectual needs of uh, other non-Tibetan people as well. I think His Holiness the Dalai Lama's message on the importance of the preservation of our unique Tibetan Buddhist heritage and identity is something uh, the community here in Boston is striving to achieve. And I feel having a community center would really help us uh, realize this dream.